Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Card here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we're talking about the PlayStation Portal. Now, for everybody here about the specs, uh, what comes in a box, what can the portal do, what can it not do, what's good about it, what's bad about it. We'll talk about that later in this video. If you're here for the NBA 2K24 variant of that, you want to know, is this the next copy device? Is this device great for casuals? Is Sim Nation going to do everything that they've already been doing on a handheld device? And welcome. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do that. By the way, Sim Nation, comp community. Y'all good, right? Like, I ain't got to... Because I don't want to get in the middle of no fights. Y'all... So what, you're just going to put your iPod on shuffle? I am the greatest. So this morning I was doing my usual morning scroll and I actually stumbled upon a video of someone playing NBA 2K24 with the PlayStation Portal. Now shout out to Shiro because I'm I'm so happy that he did this as well as it showed me a few things about NBA 2K24 on a PlayStation Portal that may be great for some users out there. Now, let me be honest. When it comes to the PlayStation Portal, I won't be copping. I know a lot of people probably came to this video just to see if I would buy it because most of the time if I buy something, I put my stamp on it. But I've been hearing some things about this PlayStation Portal about not being able to use the video sites like Netflix and stuff like that and only being able to mirror your PlayStation 5, it not having its own hard drive, it not having its own game library accessibility, it having nothing but literally cloud play. So with that being said, I want to show you guys this video real fast. So this is what Shiro said on Twitter verbatim. I wouldn't use it for sweaty online, but I'm impressed. It's comfortable, great video and sound. It feels light for grinding badges and agendas or playing Spider-Man 2 and other solo games while my girl is watching TV. This is a W. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't have that issue. I only game in my game room. But that is actually a dope idea, especially when somebody wants to cuddle on your tummy and you just. I'm going to go ahead and play all audio real quick. It's going to be a little bit loud, but we won't have to worry about any music or anything like that because it's only game sound. Now. Let me just be honest, 66, 10, and 11, shooting 50% from the field. I don't think this is Hall of Fame, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and call him out. Shiro, get off that rookie. Get off it. I know what you're doing. But now, nah, in all honesty, he said he was grinding badges. But I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. For this to be off camera, like this is, this is recorded with most likely a DSLR camera, of course. But for it to be off cam footage of the actual screen, it doesn't look that bad at all. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I seen a couple green animations and stuff like that in this gameplay. It's not bad at all. To me, if I were somebody who maybe had it like that and I wanted to roam around the house on non-spotty Wi-Fi to mirror my PlayStation 5 at any given moment, then you would spend money on this. But I'm going to be honest, for this to be something to use on NBA 2K24, an already expensive game at that, I'm going to have to say no. Simply because I'd rather somebody spend $200 on something completely different, not the PlayStation Portal, not NBA 2K24, but maybe invest in two or even three other games on your PlayStation 2 to heighten your gaming library. If you feel like you're a sports gaming fan, go buy two other sports games. If you are a fan of role-playing games, go buy two role-playing games. You know, just something different. Don't dump any more money into 2K or the PlayStation Portal simply because 
I mean, Christmas is around the corner. I mean, you you can go ahead and shop around a couple gifts. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to gift it to you now. No, 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 no. If somebody want to gift it to you, I mean, that's cool too. But don't spend your hard-earned money on this simply because you want to play this device off somewhere else while somebody else is watching TV or whatever have you. Now, there are some details that Shiro put out. Um this is to answer most questions i like this little fact tweet because a lot of people when they you know do you know videos about you know devices and stuff like that everyone perceives that it's hashtag ad or something like that motherfucker we're consumers like all we do is buy a bunch of technical shit use it and we love to get our point across on how we feel about it because it's our personal experience so shiro's personal experience is to answer questions this is the new ps portal this one solid piece dedicated remote player for your ps5 games you need a ps5 to be able to use it but you can use it on the go with any wi-fi connection so that means if you want to use your phone on a hotspot, if it's not too choppy you might be able to pull that off battery life was nine hours for his first run if the wi-fi connection is more than 150 megabits per second there's no lag that's not bad. Most streamers, most content creators, everybody has a gig now. If you don't have a gig, try to get some fiber somewhere in your area or move. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Um, it costs $200. Hefty price. Uh, a little less than half of a PS5 price, but it's still pricey just for it to be a mirror remote. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy something just to mirror off of something for... A little bit less than half his price you see what i'm saying um the controller part is not detachable so i'm not sure what can be done if stick drift hits boy he hitting a whole lot of points on a goddamn nose what happens if you get stick drift holy shit never thought about that one hmm. um he says i'm loving it so far nine out of ten I took a point away because it won't let you stream Netflix or other video apps, only games. That right there is a huge L. That right there makes this device worthless to me because with a, with a device screen that big, being able to hop on Netflix, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm about to say something real bad, on the toilet? <laughs> we all gotta go to the bathroom sometime now okay i can't play that while i'm cooking dinner my hands all greasy i got marinated and salt pepper onions you know, all on my head i can't play that while i'm cooking you know y'all know that on the couch on the on the sectional feet up yeah but y'all know where y'all really gonna play that joint at come on man y'all know how long them sessions gonna be in that bathroom right hella long you know what i'm saying what pops used to say 35 45 minutes shit <laughs> more like two hours i see you later honey you know what i'm saying you la you lazy the fella sleep on the toilet time to play that game that's all i'm saying all i'm saying but with it not being able to stream uh videos from actual movie apps and tv apps i i call that a hell I, I need to see every dc movie and television show from the max app or i'm gonna lose my shit so if i can't watch those it ain't it ain't worth it to me this consumer here now um i did scroll down he did reply to a couple uh tweets from people and stuff like that so if you you know if you do want to ask him any questions about it because he has it i don't have it he has it i i'm not buying it is the portal actually good for nba 2k24 online play like he said for if your connection is 150 megabits per second and up for your wi-fi there is no lag, but I'm going to be honest with you. It ain't compy enough for all those people out there playing comp stage, you know, comp rec, stuff like that, comp pro-am and all that. It ain't for you. For the casual that just want to sit on the couch after a long day from work or a long day in school, you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to all the kids with the good grades. Christmas is coming. This is your time. For all y'all, I think I think, I think think it's a W for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just want to kick back, relax, chill, boom, boom. Now, for all my Sim Nation out there, what up? I'm, I wish I was Sim Nation. I got to get good. I ain't, I ain't really that good like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't really that great. But I think y'all could do some damage on this joint. You feel me? But 
online i just don't it's always something tricky about online with me like i feel like i gotta have an ethernet i gotta have a controller wired i mean shit the controller's on the actual screen it's ain't it don't get more hardwired than that but is there a one millisecond screen though mm. and since it ain't a one millisecond screen it ain't it ain't for that it ain't for that online experience now i would you know take it as a gift and not send it back but i would download all of the games the witcher god of war spider-man a uh, horizon like i would buy all of the single player games to play you know while i'm away while i'm in a hotel waiting to do a photo shoot or on a set of a, a an activation or something like that that has wi-fi i would do that if i got it as a gift now of course chat i'm not saying buy this for me as a gift don't waste your money on me i'll let other people worry about that you know the people above me stomping on my head every day yeah i'll let them worry about that but again i want to thank you guys for watching this video um this was about the playstation portal and nba 2k24 um let me know your thoughts in the comment section how do you feel do you feel like you're going to get one um did this video put you on the fence did it knock you off the fence in the right direction or backtrack and like where are you at? Let me know inside the comments, man. This is your boy IKC signing out. I appreciate y'all for watching. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. King Kong.